Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena Bond and I'm a dating and relationship coach for men at selenabond.com. If you'd like to work with me, I will leave a link to my website in the description box below and that will have all of my services, including my social media. So please follow me on Instagram at Selena Eliz. So today I have my big sleeves on for some big energy. We are going to be talking about something, as you can probably see in the title, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it because I don't want uh, this to be demonetized. <laughs> I am a monetized channel now and I'm reaching greater audiences, but they're very funny with talking about intimacy. But the most common question that I get asked is if size matters, does inches matter? And there is this television show on Netflix right now that is called Sex Life. Can I say that word? There's a show called SEX Life on Netflix. And on the show, there has been like these memes going around on TikTok, which maybe some of you have seen, where it's episode three and it's minute 1950 to be specific. And you're seeing people's reactions. And of course it's because he is exposed. And it's quite large, it's very large. <laughs> so, and it's shocking people because obviously when something is not the norm like that, it kind of takes you aback. So a lot of people, um, they DM me and they ask if that matters in dating. And you know what, it's a valid question because people always ask me, does uh, attractiveness matter? Does money matter? And I can give you the honest answer in this video, and I will, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about that show and kind of just how that does affect intimacy and dating and men's confidence. Of course, I'm not a man, so I am speaking from the, the, uh, the sexual, uh, it's not an identity, but my, my, it's not even a gender because now there are all these lines are blurred and society is saying that there is a spectrum of gender. It's my sex. I was born a female, a woman, so yes, I'm not a man, and I don't understand what it is like um, at all to be a man with that kind of anatomy. However, I do know, and being the receiving end of it as a woman, um, what matters and what does not in terms of intimacy and in terms of energy, because there is a reason why in society they call it big energy, because it is the way that you kind of carry yourself. Um, and you know, there's all of those memes and things in society where they say, if you are kind of a smaller man or smaller size, that you try to have a bigger car or a bigger dog or a bigger house to overcompensate. And sometimes women can have that energy too, and we peacock and we perhaps dress more ostentatious or we, you know, educate ourselves a certain way or something just to make ourselves stand out. And of course, plastic surgery um, is very common with women as well because society has created this environment where looks are very um, important for success, for being attractive, all of these things. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it doesn't matter. Everything matters. And that is going to be my ethos in today's video. So I don't ever, I mean, I never lie. I have no, I have no reason to lie to you. I'm always pretty much to the point with everything that I share. But everything does matter, but it also matters how you use it and how you do it and how you embody it and, and who you are. So it's the same when I have other videos on does attractiveness matter? Yes, it matters. It matters because it's the first impression, it's the first thing that you see. But the thing is, it also matters on how you do it. So attractiveness is something, there are kind of different levels and a spectrum in society of what is deemed attractiveness, but there are ways that you can look after your health, there are ways that you can dress, ways that you keep up your personal hygiene. All of these things amount to things mattering. And I feel like people forget that bigger um, picture and there are always ways that you can self-improve and it doesn't mean that you have to self-improve with surgery literally super simple things that you can do every day to take care of your health, to you know look like you're glowing, to have confidence, you can go for therapy, you can dress differently. It's the way that you hold yourself. And a big part of that is learning energies. And I'm still handing out a free energy chart if you wanna DM me your email on Instagram and I can give that to you because 
the way that you carry yourself, the way that you understand your energy is going to shift so much for you, I promise. And that's why they call it the big energy because um, that has to do with masculinity. And in this show on Netflix, SEX Life, the main character, the guy, I believe he's Australian, um, and he has this, you know, alluring accent and this kind of long flowy hair, a bit of a rocker style. He is the, the owner of um, a record label. So he's got this edgy masculine energy. But what people need to realize, and perhaps I will do a few TikToks and reels on this, is it's more so how he carries himself and his language. So he may have big anatomy, but he's also got big energy. He's got really big a uh, big way of carrying himself and the way that he speaks is just like unapologetic, very persistent and very direct and to the point. And if you look at my energy chart, you will see some of those qualities on the masculine side. It is, I mean, some of the hottest scenes that I've seen in this show so far, just in terms of how he speaks with the woman, which I believe they're also together in real life. Her name's Billy on the show. Um, so they are together in real life. His name is Brad on the show, just so you get reference. So Billy and Brad are together. So they have a kind of chemistry. And I also feel that's because she is more in her feminine energy and she's receiving him, but she's also spicy and she knows what she wants. And she clearly communicates with that with him. So I'm not going to give too much about what's going on in the show. This is not like a show review, but it's a really great way. Like I love watching reality shows and these kind of scripted television shows to see the dynamics because you're always going to have relationship dynamics and I find movies super boring when there's no character arc there's no push pull tension polarity some sort of relationship if it's just a bunch of you know explosions going off and and people uh fighting for their lives I mean okay it's interesting it's like the transformers kind of vibe but it's not I'm missing like the character development. I'm missing the connections. There's always gonna be a romantic interest, um, something to fight for within love, uh, an obstacle to overcome in love. These are all super important things that, I know I say super important a lot, but these are things that are, are captivating. You know, it's really intriguing to the viewer and to us because it's so relatable. We have this in our daily lives, these connections and relationships. And that's what I'm saying, like there can be a million things going on in this world right now and there is it's super dark and it's gonna get darker but if you focus on your connections and your relationships your communication it's gonna ground you in love and this energy I know that might sound cliche but this energy of being grounded in love embodying love and embodying the energy that feels right for you so for me that energy is feeling um, feminine Feminine energy for me is where it's at, but I still love the masculine side of it where I can take action, I speak out, I stand up for things that are important to me, and I do it in a feminine way that comes from a place of nurturing and compassion and expressing emotion. So there's a way to balance your energies to show off this big energy um, and, and show up like that in real life. That is the most attractive thing. The final thing that I'm going to say on this is it is all in how you do it and use it. And that goes with anything in life. You can have a university degree or this is a crazy, you know, beautiful intelligence. And if you don't use it or kind of harness it in a way that's effective, I mean, it doesn't really uh, carry much value in how you're applying it in life. And it is the same with intimacy. It's more so about how you use it and how you care about the other person. And this goes back to why in dating, I say it's imperative that um, you care and you're curious about the other person because when you make dating about the other person and asking them um, questions to learn more about them and their passions and who they are as a person, this is going to elevate your connection, your communication, and your dating in general. And it's the same with intimacy. When you care more about the other person enjoying themselves and having pleasure, that is going to give, it's going to make you look better and feel better and make them feel better at the same time. It's a positive feedback loop. And it's the same when 
Say for example, you give someone a gift without expecting anything in return. That is the best feeling because you are giving without having some sort of condition on it. And that's what love is. When you truly love someone and you're in this amazing partnership or when you're in your family, when you're giving without any sort of conditions on it, it is that is freedom in itself. That is love and freedom in itself. So I'd love to hear if you guys have watched the show on Netflix. What other shows do you want me to review? What other crazy questions do you have for me? Lay it all out in the comments because I would love to address them. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in another video.